Hello everyone. Today's video is about understanding the book of Revelation in a scroll format in approximately 15 minutes. This chart took me over 20 years after traveling to 10 countries. At the end, I will share the table of contents of Revelation to help you understand its structure and highlight those that two of the seven judgments are yet to come after the third temple is built. But most importantly, we need to uncover who the beast kingdom is in Revelation which is causing World War III. So I hope you give me a chance to explain. May God bless you with the understanding. I want to start by showing you the easiest way to understand Revelation, by reading it in its original scroll layout. First, it shows that Revelation has three divisions, seven, which are seven warnings, seven judgments, seven details. Second, each time, you unroll one of the seven endings, it reveals additional details to the judgment. That includes who is causing World War III. I figured out that this layout, I figured out this layout because it shows seven endings that speak about heaven. This doesn't mean that you're going to heaven seven times, but that there's one set of warnings in chapters one to three, and one set of judgments in chapters four to seven, and the rest, chapters eight to 22, are parenthetical and glossary chapters. That's why I'm claiming that this new book will be tested by the most knowledgeable scholars pastors, and critical thinker, thinkers, and those striving to understand Revelation, because no one has ever laid the text back to its original scroll format as I have. Let me show you how I figured this out by going back to my Revelation wall display, which includes four charts that help me decipher Revelation by breaking the book down four times, starting with the modern book layout. This illustrates how we read the 22 chapters chronologically in a vertical view. However, I discovered it's too hard to understand because it's hard, because it has seven endings as if you wrote seven pages. By paralleling all seven endings, you can understand the entire book on your own. That's why I created a second chart called the original scroll view that looks like an ancient scroll um, that, that helped me confirm the seven endings plus three major events that people desire to know before they build the third temple, which I color coded. Blue represents the rapture doctrine when the saints are taken into heaven. Red represents the wrath of God when he destroys those left behind. And gold represents heaven when he speaks about the kingdom of God that will last forever. Despite this, I struggle to remember the events as they are not in a straight line and were repeated seven times. To address this, I created a third chart. Spacing it, the event in one straight line, this also revealed four additional events that I had, haven't seen in the original scroll. Then I created a fourth chart, shows how I parallel the events into one combined timeline by connecting the imagery with the parenthetical chapters. The purpose of this exercises to show you the difference between a modern book view and a scroll view. Next, I want to show you each view leading to my final draft. Once you understand the layout, you will only need one or two scrolls to fully grasp the book of Revelation so no one will ever deceive you. Starting with the modern book view, it is very difficult to understand a book with seven endings unless you par parallel them. Even when I discovered the three main events and color-coded all seven endings, I still could not clearly understand the complete timeline. Many people are not aware that John wrote one prophecy with seven parenthetical chapters to understand the vision. This book contains 11,952 words with 22 chapters, but it has seven endings which the average person can read in approximately an hour and a half. However, understanding is a minimal because it's hard to picture the seven endings in your mind. So I created the scroll view to show that the seven endings all speak about heaven. Additionally, I spaced the three divisions to show the seven warnings, the seven seal judgments, and the seven details which are parenthetical and glossary chapters. This helps us identify the beast kingdom that made war on the nations that refused to accept the idol and the laws of the nation. However, I still was it was still hard to remember the events as they were not in a straight line. 
So I created a third chart called the seven period timeline scroll. By spacing the three events I was trying to parallel, I also discovered four additional events making it seven historical events to confirm when the seven seal judgment began, showing that five occurred during church history, leaving two remaining for the last seven years. To clarify, I discovered these events without cutting and pasting to create a timeline. The orange line represents the kingdom of Christ, the millennial waiting period until he destroys the beast kingdom spoken by, of, spoken by the prophet Daniel. The gray line is the tribulation period when God released the Roman beast kingdom to test us during church history where we stand today. The green line shows the next period, the 70th week of Daniel, when they built the third temple which will take uh, take three and a half years if they are literal years. When the fallen away event happens, which is one of my major concerns that we need to talk about. The black line represents the, tri uh, the Great Tribulation. The last three and a half year period when the Roman beast kingdom tries to set up the idol of the kingdom inside the temple. This angers the Lord of God who releases the seven trumpet angels on those who accept that the idol and the laws of the kingdom that make you sin against God. The blue uh, line is the rapture period when the, mighty, when the mighty angel of God delivers the saints into heaven. The red line is the wrath of God when he slays the revived Roman beast kingdom who worships the dragon in secret by releasing the seven bold angels on those left behind. The yellow line is the kingdom of God that will last forever, giving us hope because he tells us everything about heaven seven times. This view provides a clear timeline of of the book of Revelation making it the best chart to learn the details. I created a large um I created a large wall chart to see the seven periods and laid all the parenthetical chapters next to each other without cutting and pasting, especially to see the rapture timeline. The, this method is called progressive parallelism because as you can see, each ending about heaven progresses without with additional information. Many might ask, how did I see the seven periods? I tell them by paralleling verses using the connect the dot system that I explain in my book. First line shows five orange dots that ref reference the kingdom of Christ on earth. The, the second line shows five gray dots that reference the time of the beast kingdom which caused tribulation. The third line shows one green dot that referenced the beginning of Daniel's 70th week. And the fourth line shows five dots that I referenced the Great Tribulation. And the fifth line shows five blue dots that reference the rapture. And the sixth uh, line shows the seven red dot um, shows seven red dots that reference when the wrath of God begins. And seventh line shows seven yellow dots that reference our blessed hope. Revelation 3.12 confirms that when you die or raptured into heaven, you will reign with God and his Christ forever. This doesn't mean you're going to heaven seven times or back to earth for additional thousand years to be tormented by Satan, which some misunderstand while others purpose, purposely teach it. Many are unaware that the prophets repeat themselves more than once, hoping you'll understand your end. To ensure I understood the timeline, I created a fourth chart called the Imagery Timeline Scroll, which I believe is the best chart because it parallels the images to the seven endings as they say, pictures worth a thousand words. This is when everything came together and I understood the entire book of Revelation. I, I created a combined timeline with two columns with, with imagery representing the symbols of John saw and others, the other with literal terms with seven dots confirming a com combined timeline everyone could understand. The obvious conclusion to the seven-year timeline is there's one great tribulation, not five, and there's one rapture in heaven, not five, and there's one wrath of God at the end, not seven, and there's one time you go into heaven, not seven times. That's why I remind people that there's one prophecy in chapter four to seven, and the rest, chapters eight to 22, are parenthetical and glossary chapters. When Anyone asks me that 
what makes me sure about the timeline, I tell them that I paralleled the seven judgments to my to to my 2000 year church history chart, which is part of my new book that I'm working on. This chart shows five of the seven judgments came to pass after Jesus' resurrection um, because the church leaders did not listen to warn and prepare the saints. As a result, he allowed the Roman beast kingdom to test and persecute the saints, similar to the story of Job, which I will, which I explain in my book. As I bring this presentation to a close, I sincerely hope that the charts I've shared have provided you with a clear timeline and a deeper understanding of our end. On this slide, I want to share the structure of the book of Revelation, pointing to the bottom of the chart that confirms the seven endings speaking about heaven, specifically at the end of, the ch of chapter 4 to 7. After John saw the multitude in heaven, Christ leads them to the living water, confirming the main story of the book. This is also this is also my book marker that I will send to those who support my ministry, including my table of contents. On this slide, I want to share my table of contents chart in a scroll view with he headings and subheadings from the book Reve Revelation. This will help you ver uh, verify which events have come to pass in the seven uh, in the seven endings by using your own Bible. Chapters one to three warn us to the seven uh, warnings to the seven church leaders have to come to pass. They have been served by God, yet some hinder without or with intent from teaching who the beast kingdom is that causing World War III. Four to six shows us that five of the seven sealed judgments have come to pass, leaving two remaining. And chapter 12 to 14 reveals how the fourth beast kingdom was revived under the nations that united until God destroys them and those who accepted the idol or the laws of the kingdom. Chapter 17 and 18 explains who the mystery Babylon church and state is who is worshiping the dragon in secret. I will show you photos from the 10 countries I traveled. And chapter 20, the kingdom of Christ has begun and we are waiting until the beast around Jerusalem, he will send fire from heaven and destroy them. Then the kingdom of God in heaven begins and will last forever. The rest of the chapters will happen one day soon and we need to prepare the church. Nevertheless, I have so much more to share with you in other videos. Please pray for my ministry which focuses on uniting the church and teaching difficult scripture that some misunderstand or hinder with, out, or with intent from knowing who is causing World War III. If you like this presentation, please one, give me a like. Two, hit the subscribe button to get notified on my next video or event. Three, support my ministry so I can dedicate my time to making additional and better videos. As a token of appreciation, I will send you one of my charts. And lastly, I pray that God gives you understanding, wisdom, and boldness for the love of truth that gives us hope in heaven. God bless you.